The ancient Mayan city of Tikal, located in Guatemala, has long fascinated scientists with its clues to how the ancient Maya people lived and constructed their cities. Now, a team of researchers found evidence that the Mayans had managed to build a sophisticated water purification system in Tikal over 2,000 years ago. The team published their findings in the journal Scientific Reports. According to the lead researcher, Kenneth Tankersley of the University of Cincinnati, the purification system was so advanced that it would still be effective today. The system used a limestone wall with holes in it, as well as layers of woven plant fibers, to hold back the core filtration system, which is a wall of sand filled with quartz and zeolite particles. This sandy mixture of quartz and zeolite acts as a very effective molecular sieve, which would trap the harmful heavy metals, microbes and toxins while letting the water seep through. According to the researchers, this type of water purification system would have been very important when building a city in the jungle, where rivers often produce harmful and deadly bacteria. Laser detection technology may crack the mystery behind this ancient Mayan road in the jungle. Archaeologists have used laser scanning to chart an ancient 100-kilometer-long Mayan highway built 13 centuries ago. They say Coba, a powerful city-state, may have built the road to invade its neighbor, Yaxuna. The study was published in the Journal of Archaeological Science. The University of Miami said in a news release that the study used light detection and ranging technology lasers to penetrate thick jungle vegetation and reveal the ruins beneath. The LiDAR survey mapped out the road and uncovered 8,000 structures on its path. The structures are of varying sizes and their combined volume could fill 2,900 Olympic swimming pools. University professor Tracy Ardren is cited as saying the road did not run straight as supposed. Instead, Koba's warrior Queen Kawila Hao may have built the winding road to control settlements across the Yucatan Peninsula and to attack Yaksuna. Ardren, who is a co-author, says the Mayan roads were an engineering marvel. Giant limestone boulders were utilized to fill uneven ground. Then, white plaster was applied to make the road surface. This substance is similar to Roman concrete and gave the road its name, Sakbe, which comes from the Mayan word, white way. Ever wonder what a Mayan megalopolis may have looked like? Well, aren't you in for a treat? National Geographic reports that researchers have uncovered an ancient 800-square-mile Mayan megacity in northern Guatemala. Archaeologists used light detection and ranging technology, more commonly called LIDAR, to uncover the area. According to the National Ocean Service, LIDAR is a remote sensing method that uses a combination of light, aircraft and pulse lasers to measure and visualize 3D structures. This lets them remove the surrounding environment to show the scale of the interconnected area. Researchers found some 60,000 structures and said the area was home to millions of people. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.